Hi, it's Miss Christie, and we're going to read Pete the Cat, Cave Cat Pete. Cave Cat Pete wakes up early. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. Today is going to be a great day, Pete thinks. But then Pete's bed starts to shake. His friend Vinny, the Velociraptor, is coming to visit. Oh, goodness, I think that's why his bed is shaking. It's a perfect day for a picnic, says Vinny. What a great idea, says Pete. Who should we invite? Everyone, says Vinny. Right on, says Pete. Pete loves picnics. His, he heads out to invite all of his friends. Look at those big footprints. First, Pete finds his good friend, Ethel. The Apatosaurus. To get her attention, Pete climbs all the way up to the top of the tallest tree. Would you like to come to a picnic, Pete asks. I'd love to, says Ethel. What can I bring? How about a really big salad, Pete suggests. What a great idea, says Ethel. I'm on it. Pete wanders along the river, he says. T-Rex. T-Rex plays the guitar. T-Rex is awesome. Hey, T-Rex, Pete yells. Want to come to the picnic? Sweet, says T-Rex. Can I bring my guitar? Definitely, says T Pete. We can jam. Count me in, says T-Rex. Okay, if I can br bring Al, the Allosaurus, he's a whiz on the drums. The more the merrier, says Pete. Did I miss a page? No, I did not. Okay. Felt like I missed a page, but I didn't. Pete's, Pete sees his friend, Terry the Pterosaurus, in the sky. Hi, Pete, she calls. Pete invites Terry to the picnic, too. Would you mind giving me a lift, Pete asks. Sure, says Terry. Climb aboard. Pete sees, sees the spike tail of his main man, Skip the Stegosaurus. How are you feeling today, Skip? Pete asked. Skip has been sick with the sniffles. Better, says Skip. Thanks for asking. You up for a picnic? I think so, says Skip. I'd hate to miss the fun. It's almost time for the picnic, Cave Cat Pete rushes through the forest. He doesn't want to be late. Whoops! Pete treats over, trips over Triny tr the Triceratops. We're planning hide and seek, she says, before Pete can ask what she's doing. I think I had a little too, I think I hid a little too well. How long have you been there? Asked Pete. What's today? Asked Triny. Well, all the dinosaurs are going to be at the picnic grounds. Want to come? Pete asked. What What a great idea. Maybe somebody there will play hide and seek with me. So she's been hiding for days. Not just a few minutes, but days. How silly is that? Would you be able to hide for days? I'm not thinking so. It's time for a picnic. Vinny and Ethel are setting up the picnic tables. T-Rex and Al are warming up to play some tunes. Terry and Trini are playing hide and seek. Even Skip seems to be enjoying himself. It doesn't seem to get any better than this, Pete says. Oh my goodness, he's having such a great time. T-Rex comes over them. Comes over them. Hey Pete, he asks. Is there anything else to eat? I'm a carnivore. I don't eat salad. Trini comes over. Terry is cheating at hide and seek. She's flying around and peeking. Skip comes over. I don't feel good, he says, and he sneezes. The dinosaurs all start to argue. The picnic will be ruined if Pete doesn't do something. He leans over to Al and says, can you give me a beat? Pete starts to play on his guitar, and he starts to sing. Do you think he's going to be able to fix the problem and get them to stop arguing? Let's find out. Before long, everyone is having a great time. You know, T-Rex tells Ethel, I've never actually tried salad before. Try it, said Pete. I bet you'll like it. T-Rex tastes the salad. Crunch, crunch, crunch. 
Yum, says T-Rex. This salad is delicious. Everyone grabs a plate and digs in. Everyone decides to play hide and seek. Pete is happy that everyone is getting along. He feels lucky to have such great friends. This is the best picnic ever, everyone agrees. It is the best picnic because you guys are the best friends ever, Pete says, and no one can argue with that. The end.